but let your presence come into your life. Amen. Let them begin to feel your presence. Your spirit all the time. Your spirit will never quench as a result of your sin. In the name of Jesus. Make them to live a wisdom that will make them and the spirit will not quench. Anywhere they want to go, that spirit will be directing them. That sees someone after the goal is going to bless them. For that anything that is the point of that, you do this favor for me. Anything that that is that desperate. Do one big three things that is in your heart. That is good thing, not a bad thing. That they need from you. One each person three things desperate in their heart. For that after this sermon, let them receive their testimony that you have done that thing for them in the name of Jesus. And let them live a life that will please you. So that at the last day they will meet you on the cloud in the name of Jesus. Can someone open the book of the first Thessalonians 5:16? First. Yeah, first of all. Five sixteen, eh? Yeah. Okay. It says, if any man or woman that believeth have no. first Thessalonians, ah Thessalonians, you yeah. said five from twelve. No, five from fourteen. Five from fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Now we exhort you, brethren. Warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble the fee fee minded, sorry, the feeble minded minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man. But ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's talking about and to all men. And to all men. Praise the Lord. It's talking about woman and conduct in the church. You can see that when we when we read those places, they will read. It says now exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. In a church, there are people that is unruly, people that are not obey the rules guiding the church. When they disobeyed or violated the rules of a church, you have to warn them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to have principles and anything you are doing in your life. Church has rules and regulations guiding the church. Church has principles. That warning cannot be face to face warning. It's that rule that is guiding that church. You need to warn that person. So that person will get to God's shot. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All that from the Lord. You want people that don't believe the one person to rule them. When the church. You are all really, you'll be warned with the rules and regulations guiding the church. So when you are in the church, you have to be orderly. Obey yourself. You have to be ruled. You can't not to be above the authority of the church. Because Christ is the head of the church. Amen. May God give you the grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he said that comfort the feeble minded means those that are weak. You have to comfort them. If they allow you. Not people that are too know. People minded people that are weak, comfort them, talk to them. When they come to church, you talk to them, not to, you see somebody doing something outside, you begin to gossip or begin to laugh with the person. See what she's doing outside. You have to comfort the person. Feeble-minded, the weak ones. I mean, the sinners, they don't know anything. They come to church, but nothing is in their brain. They don't know anything in the Bible. You have to help them to comfort them. And here I says again, support the weak, those that are weak. You support them. When you are spiritual, you help them. You come to church, you see somebody, you help them go and talk to them, support them, not to go see, see what she's doing. Is a Christian, is forgetting, is a Christian. You are in one body. Christ needs all of you. As Christ needs you that are holy. It's the same way he needs that one that is forgetting. You have to come, just to support them. Bible say you have to come for them, support them. Come to them, talk to them. What you are doing is not good. Preach the word of God in their lives, not to be carrying the name of the person outside. I said to be patient toward all men. You have to have patience to men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to be patient when somebody abuses you or in the church. You have to be patient, comfort the person, but don't violate the rules or regulation guiding the church. Bible was one here, you have to want the person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And have the person and have patience. And monitor the person and 
try to support the weak. And 15 says, See not that one render evil for evil unto any man. Evil for evil. It's not his mess. Somebody pitch you, went and pitch back. It's not allowed. Somebody caught you, you caught back. It's not allowed. Why do you condemn it? Somebody did something for you. Maybe somebody beat your child, went and beat the child back. It's not allowed. So I will say, render not evil unto any man, but follow which is good among yourself unto all men. The one reason why God said the Bible says, revenge is for God. It's God that revenge. If you revenge, you spoil it. Maybe the one you have acted like said, well, if God has it for you, eh, his own will be win. That's why the Bible says, it's the righteous thing for God to repent, to repent, to bless you with those that trouble you. That's why I said, repent not, leave it for me. You may go and repent that person self for evil. The one you did will be small. That's okay. I thought it's not fighting for you again. But I now go to fight for you. You pray to God. Say, God, see this one person did. Fight for me. God will fight for you. But when you fight, you might fight less. You might fight less than what God wanted to do for you. And when God sees you have done it, then he will leave it for you. He said, repay not evil to any man. If they do somebody do you wrong, no problem. You just go and tell to your God. The reward of those that seek him. He will reward for you. He will judge. That's why just judge not. They believe it for God. He said, every follow what is good, those is right in do it. But among yourself to all men. So we are going to prove this place. Go to First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians 6 and 1 verse 6. So that you see why God said, repair not. Leave it for me. 1 6, 7 1, second one, 1 6. Second 1 verse 6. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble him. Seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. The Bible says it's a righteous thing for God to repent tribulation to those that trouble you. Righteous thing. The Bible didn't say it's a bad thing. Very, very righteous. That's why it's a living for me. It's a righteous thing for God to use his hand to handle your enemies. To handle those that trouble you, not you. It says it's a righteous thing with God. To repair that which you know what you need to suffering, torture. Tribulation is worse than any other problem. It's to repair them with tribulation. And that's preparing. I give you rest when Jesus is revealed okay. in heaven with his mighty angels. I give you rest. We'll be in heaven with the mighty angels now and the world to come. Amen. Angels now, as you're here, it's really you, it's angels. Yes. And also the world to come. May God repay your enemies with tribulation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Bible says the righteous thing is not an evil. That's why the Bible says, leave everything for him. Don't repay. When you repay, you have spoiled it. You may go and flood that person with one care. You did not go want to flood that person with 20 care. 20 care. The Lord will say, okay, you have done this, I'm not doing it again. All the enemy that is battling your life, both spiritually, both physically, both in the spiritual realm, both from ancestral spirit, both in heavenly places, both in air. Wait, but in this country, may go repay them with tribulations in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. 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 The right Those that are troubling your purpose, those forces that are troubling your happiness, troubling your hopes, trouble your anything you plan, it will not work out. You get work and sell 1,000 euros, you sell 200 euros. Those forces that used to split it your money, that make your hope, every year of time your hope you begin hopeless. Every time your hope begins hopeless. After from year to year, story. God is going to repent of them now with tribulation and give you rest in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that rest is for you to relax. Come unto me, all that are born heavy laden. I will give you rest. rest. Come unto Jesus, he's the one that will give you rest. He will give you rest. When you allow him to fight for you, and he's going to fight for you from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will give you rest. So, God, from today, don't repent. At times, when I, I, I don't like cursing, but when I curse, at times I, I go and say, no, God, I, I cancel that curse, do it for yourself. Because this one I curse, now maybe I don't know. Because I know God gave me power as a servant of God, I have the right to curse. Elisha, when the children was mocking him, banded him, he caused them from, not something from nowhere, just came out and ate the children. Lion came out from the wood. So a curse of a prophet can make no impossibilities become possible. Something from nowhere to just land like, why I did the person. Yeah. Lion came out from three, jump! And 42 people, but 42 children, they died. The Bible said he caused them in the name of the Lord. That's why the Bible said, touch not my anointed. 
and do my prophets for now. Because if you have them, you will have you. So that's why I'm telling you at times I don't like cousin. I leave job by time. I cause I say God, I cancel it. Because this one I cause is more. Repair them. But Jesus told God, forgive them, they do not know what they're doing. But see, last, uh, Judas suffered the penalty when he saw betray Jesus. Jesus to pray, forgive them. He said, forgive them, but God still, God did what? He fought. Still, last was what? That committed suicide. So it's God that repair. Not last one, Judas is Carol, sorry. Judas is God still committed suicide. Bible says Judas will betray Jesus, but Bible says that that person that will betray is better. That person is not being poor. It's better than that not being poor. Still, Jesus prayed for forgiveness. Still, all of them, God punished them. After he prayed for God's forgiveness, some of them died. Instant, there was no When Jesus died, many people died. Many people, the soldiers, some of them died. Still, God fought. That's why leave everything for God to fight for you. When you fight for you, we see that the fighting will fight for you. Even if it's not fighting, it's not fight half. May God fight for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please continue from 16. You stop from 15. 16. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. This is the principles God wants you to be doing. So that we fight for you. You meet you on the cloud and the second coming. He said, Rejoice every time. But when you're, when you're in Christ, you believe just another person that said, You rejoice all the time. You have a God. Don't think of delays, wasting time. You will do it. Rejoice every time. You need to say rejoice. It's no problem. Rejoice. It's just, it's just, and no, after rejoicing, when rejoicing, what did he say again? Say pray. Pray without ceasing. Pray without, without stopping. Always. Don't go, don't go and lie. Start watching movies from morning to night. You will not know when the Spirit of God has come for you to pray. Pray without stopping. Rejoice with praise. Since we've opened this church, I've been pastoring with rejoicing. I never for one day think of anything, regret of anything, ask for ways on why. Oh, rejoice and continue not pray, leave the rest for him. Yes. You rejoice in your situation. You rejoice. Yes. Stop, stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying today. Don't stop praying. 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 Tomorrow you pray seven times. Tomorrow you pray two times. Mm. Incre increasing more and more. Mm. If you don't know how to pray, you come Holy Spirit. Mm. Because God made you to know in heaven that there's a spirit that is in the for you to grow in. You know what is growing? Mm. With growing before God. Crying. That is making God to remember the sufferings of Jesus for you. A spirit is in there, it's a city. Ask for forgiveness, come to God. Connect that spirit, you can pray two hours, you will not know. Prayers that we make God to hear you, that spirit will intercede. The groaning will draw your prayers to God. Yes. A spirit has said, I'm talking with somebody's need. Yeah, I got now. Mm, crying continuously, unstoppable. Every day, pray without ceasing. And from today, may God give you the grace Amen. to pray without ceasing. Amen. And may that spirit that intercede with glory intercede for you. Amen. Your prayers must reach where God is. Amen. And that spirit must draw your prayer to God. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And what again did he say? 18. In everything, give thanks. To this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Not in you. Not in some things. In everything, good. Give thanks. Everything. Whether good or bad, there is a purpose. Everything, you, it is the will of God. So I'm going to quickly bring out Romans 8 verse 8. Everything, give thanks. In everything that happens in the situation, find the reason to push it positive. Any, Romans 8, 28. Anything that happens, find the reason, find the way to push it. This is why it happens. It is the will of God. Your car is going today. Your paper damaged today. Something is bigger is coming. You see, after you cry, 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 you go, you receive a bigger one. Anything that you expect, your business not. Tomorrow you see where it's for the sort of purpose. Maybe God wants you to open hands of the person that's managing that business for you. He's the thief for most other person. Think one percent. This is the reason why God made it. The rest my one. I thought I was prospering in that business. I thought that I was making it. I didn't know. Maybe God wants to visit to make me do that. He's eating my money. Let me find another person. Always think positively. The will of God. Read Matthew Romans 8 28. Romans 8 28. I read. Say, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his Everything, all, all, nothing was bad. Even you have miscarriage, it's for good. 
That is the purpose of that miscarriage. Everything works for good. Maybe God wants to use it to draw you to Him. Maybe in some situation, what God wants to do is to draw you to Himself. Maybe so that you are far from Him. If you bless Him, you just throw into the street. Nobody will see Him again. He, everything works together for good. He said everything is the one of So any situation I find yourself, don't be very great. From Nigeria to Libya, to Libya to Italy, from Italy to Germany, from Germany to Greece, they are for good. God has the purpose of doing it. And that purpose we establish in the name of Jesus. Amen. They are for good. Praise the Lord. And what again? And what again? Brachris, what again? 19. Quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. So many people quench their spirit. Quenching spirit means you don't know. Lack of prayer makes you to be weak. You will not know what the spirit of God wants you to pray. But person can be dormant in prayer. You go, you will be watching television or doing it, it distracts, it leaves you to see what you're going to do. Then that's it. Maybe if you want to pray, somebody that's a something that's got a carry tablet. Before you finish press this tablet, three hours long ago, once it was going, like, oh, let me bring up book, let me bring up business, my business book, and continue for checking the eight spaces. Before you know, what thing, what thing, quick story, when the spirit comes, no when the spirit comes. Even if you are hooking when the spirit comes, you know that spirit will want you to pray. Where you know what God tell you question of the spirit can one someone open to the book of one person opens Psalm 51 verse 11 and another person open first Samuel 16 14. So, so that you know about quenching of the spirit. First Samuel 16 14. One verse 11. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 51 verse say, Cast me not away from the presence. And take not the Holy Spirit from me. What can make the Spirit to be quenched is sin. This is the prayer of David when he slept with Bathsheba. He knew what we, what he will lose, that what will depart from him immediately. These are things he's requesting from God when he was asking God because is that that made them sixteen fourteen. Is that made them to become pregnant for Solomon? He was telling God, please cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Because it's sin that made us, your presence of God, he cast you away, he will not see you again. It's your sin that you made the Holy Spirit quench. He said, cast me away from prayer. Take God the Holy Spirit. Sin. Don't quench spirit. These are the instructions he gave you so that you can make it and meet you on the cloud. When the, remember every time. That's why I'm telling you, the Bible says, pray everywhere. Pray everywhere. Then the boss will pray in your heart. Inside the boss, but you will watch time so that God will not over, you will not miss the boss of their way. Pray. Everywhere, because you ask for forgiveness, you don't know when the rapture will come. It might be inside the box. Bible mm-hmm. said God will come, just become like a thief. So you, and the Bible has been telling you all these things. So as the children of God, it doesn't matter how supposed to come or cure or cure on their own ways in your life. Pray everywhere. Ask for forgiveness everywhere. Anytime you ask, God will forgive you. May God give you the grace and the name of Jesus, Amen. so that you don't quench the spirit of God. He, he will not cast you from your presence, and you will not take away, take away. God, let the spirit back be quenched. It will not function again. The devil doesn't want to lose the Holy Spirit. He doesn't want to be because he feels it. He might know that the spirit works for him. He said, God, don't take it away. Read first Samuel 16, 14 to see when the Holy Spirit is taken away from somebody, what it happens. First Samuel 16, 14. 14 says, But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. <coughs> When the spirit of the Lord departed, what shall come again? Trouble. Evil spirit of the Lord. Trouble. Trouble everywhere. Everywhere God will pastor, pray for me. First of pray for me. Then God will use the grace of pastor to answer you. You go away in sin. Trouble. When the spirit of the Lord departed, when he departed from God, trouble everywhere. The evil spirit from God. Not that evil spirit comes from God. Then he will meaning that it doesn't mean that evil spirit comes from God. He will allow that food. Yes, allow. They will handle you. So that's why I say, quench not the spirit. So that God will not allow devil with his evil. I said, trouble everywhere. May God remove those evil spirits from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anybody here that the spirit has been quenched, and the spirit was from the Lord, not from the Lord. Bible calling it from the Lord, but he allowed devil to come inside. Anybody here that is suffering from the torture of devil, may God set you free from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the spirit of God be in you, never quench again in the name of Jesus. Amen. And continue. 19. I mean 20. Despise not prophesying. Praise the Lord. You have to prophesy. Yeah, despise not 19. Yeah. Despise not prophesying. 
You don't need to stop prophesy. Not only pastor will prophesy. Prophesy for yourself, even in your house. Yeah. Prophecy is very important. You, 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 you Bible made us today in Revelation five. Christ has made you king and priest. priest. You are a priest. You are a pastor by yourself. You have to prophesy at home. Not don't stop prophesying. I'm going to this office. I must do it in the name of Jesus. You must attend to me in the name of Jesus. That's in a call. You must give it to me. I prophesy my life. I will never come out disappointed. I prophesy that you will never, you will never disgrace me. You will never disappoint me. You will never frustrate me. You have a right to do it. Yes. May God give you the grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the prophecy you prophesy through your life, may it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Prophesy have the power in your mouth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then find Acts 22. 21. No, 21, yeah. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Not everything you see, wait. Test. Proof, proof, proof. Try to check. Don't check one bread. Why? Some people think one. Well, well, they don't think. Proof all things that is what is good. You will hear something, you will say something. You will not just sit down and test. Proof. Proof means. I don't know how to. Proof means you have to examine. You have to test that. You prove. You have to, you know, check that thing by yourself. Whether it's good or not. He said, proof. Are the instructions of God to the church. Yes. Prove all this whole fat word. When you start testing, collect the one is good, leave the one that is bad. Someone says, if you go and do this thing now, you say, if I go and do this thing now, it will have that's conscience. Not everything there will It will make this. It will make this. It will make this. Let me leave it. When you know that you're sure of what you're doing. But if you know the right one, you do it. If you know the right one, say, prove that it's good. If you know it's the position to defend yourself, you defend yourself. But if it's the position that's what you do, that you bring a bad name, or you will do it, it will bring problem in you, or problem to your finance, you don't leave it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You prove yeah. what is, somebody will advise you, but in your heart, not the one that is good. Not the one that is good for you, to make your conscience to be clear, to make yourself to be defend yourself, not that will now make you, your name will be scattered. Prove what is, test anything you want to do before you in the name of Jesus. He said, prove what is, hold fast, that's what that is good. Number 22, 322. 22, abstain from all appearance of evil. Not person will tell you what it looks like evil. Appearance means what is anything that looks like evil. You want to go out and you know that your cloth is almost naked. It looks, that's it's appearance of evil. Anything that looks like appearance, no person will tell you. You want to go out, you know that it's rather you're wearing, or the cloth you're wearing, when somebody sees you, it can make a man to get lost. Yes. And you know that if you dress in a way, when a man sees you and get lost, you yourself has lost, you come, you two of you committed sin, because you made that person to lost, get lost. You appearance! No person will tell you, God will say in God's name, Jezebel is the mother of Becos. You dress the come to the middle of the yourself, say, ha! You know, say, hey, this face, no, 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 no. No person will tell you to go and correct yourself. Anything that looks like evil. You know Jezebel is regarded as evil in the Bible. And they used to back up to know Jezebel in the Old Testament. You know how you are dressed when you come out, how you look like. Do I look at this verse really make somebody to get lost on me? This way I make my eye. This type of hair I do. Anything that looks evil, no person will tell you, say, abstain. Anything that you do like looks evil, abstain. Everyone has appearance. Somebody, some people say Christians are in the heart. Some men of God come out and say, it's outside also. Not only, the, not only in the heart, it's outside. Yes. Appearance of evil. Yes. May God give you the grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. To abstain from everything that looks appearance of evil in the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, before we close. 23. Yeah, the last one. Yeah. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray to God that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, and God of peace will sanctify you holy. Anybody that's here that is dating in soul, you know, at times when you pray in the Bible, you say, God, heal all my sickness. Say, God, not all sickness in the Bible or sickness of the flesh. Some of them soul. Many people are sick in their souls, dirty, rust. Not all sickness in the Bible, because some people are going to sickness. Heal me. Some sickness are souls. Many people are healthy, but he said they're so very rust. Rotten, rust, like a rust bit. So at that time I pray, I pray, heal you people, both soul and body. Anytime you see sickness, pray God, soul and not only body. Body and soul is sick. May God sanctify you holy in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you be healed both outside and inside in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God come and see inside you sanctified and holy and clean 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Not only outside in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it's easy again. I pray that your whole spirit, soul, and body will be preserved and blessed. Nothing will blame you on that day. I pray for you. Nothing will blame you on the second coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Not even to say, Had I know that? Because I didn't do this. That's why I didn't make that job. Blameless. What Jesus will tell you to tell you, say, You see what you did? He started blaming you. Because it's called the church. Jesus is the judge. What of my judge? What do you blame? Say, it's so pastor told me, oh, hey, hey, hey. Anything that you make blame you and that they may not take it away from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you remain blameless that in the name of Jesus. He says, so blameless unto the coming of the Christ. No matter the miracle, so money. Most important thing to be found, blameless. May God do things that makes you to make you that day you be blessed. May God give you the grace to stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the grace of God begin to follow you. Amen. That day may you remain blameless Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Stand up, let us pray. You need to ask God for the grace. Ask for the grace. I get grace. Ask the grace for the Bless him with his blood. Bless him with his blood. He needs you. He needs you that day. A great 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 day. Please. This time I'm coming to the Lord. If you don't betray me, betray me from today. It has to be the Lord. If you stand here, so we never play with you. Don't think only of things for the next. Because you are provoking his anointing. You are provoking his dreams. Mm. You are provoking his vision. Which one is the of the Lord? You are provoking him. To provoke you to prosperity, to provoke you to upliftment. The life, the end vision of Christ is not coming. It's not provoking, provoking from today. You will see Him manifest Himself in your life. You will see the manifestation of God in your life. May God forgive you in the name of Jesus. May you fill with His blood. May you with Him. Work. In the name of Jesus. Say God now that you don't want anything to make you to be blamed on that day. You don't want anything to make you to be blamed. That God will make you to be blameless. Tell God this one now to help you. On your second coming that you want to be blameless. No tell, no tell, no tell. There is no condemnation of those by Christ Jesus Christ. The accuser of the brethren has been cast out. That's the time that you used to go to God. See, he says it's a child, he's forgetting. Yeah, he cast out that Christ. I can forgive the God with this immediacy. The one that accused Job. Pass on to the body that one. Get out! Go have a talk to you as well. Go bring him out to the The one that accused Job. Go and take away everything he had. You see that, he will backslide. It's over! No body will come. Accuse you. Because you are living in the cross of Jesus Christ. You are very temperable. The accuser of the brethren is cast out. What is that very accuser that is here is in Lega? You are in Lega! God has cast you away. You don't need to accuse anyone your way. Fire. Thank God Jesus God is not the same person what he can do. They come to church every day, God will say we support the wicked. Help them, help them, Lord. Let them be to convert. Conversion, convert them. Never have a encounter with the Lord. To repent fully in the name of Jesus. Now, amen. Ask God anything you want. Ask now, ask now. His presence is here and his power is now. Request! 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 Now you need from God now. Tell him now he's here with his angels. They are about to carry your prayers up. Spirit that is sitting with God is sitting now on your behalf. He's crying for you. Mayada. God is not looking at you at all. It's only because that spirit. That means that tells you from this father, remember my blood. He's not looking on you at all, at all. Not on you, on that day. This means that tells you. Oh, please. 
remember my blood. Remember the blood I shed on the cross. Remember, remember my suffering. Remember the suffering of your son. It's only that spirit is given to not you. May God that spirit intercede for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Table, table your problems now. Holy Ghost. Pray, 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 pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Pray for the churches all over the world. For God to reveal things of the spirit, spiritual things. Jesus. This month of November, let all of them rejoice. Miracle pepper. He's looking for pepper. Miracle baby. In the name of Jesus. People looking for pregnancy. Baby, enter into your womb this month. I prophesy babies into your womb. This month in the name of Jesus. People that need healing, healing. Let receive your healing in the name of Jesus. These people that need miracle pepper, receive it in the name of Jesus. Any blessing you need from God, salvation and holiness, good life, repentance, receive it in the name of Jesus. If you're looking for work, get your work for work from now in the name of Jesus. If your husband is looking for work, let him get your work from work in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you enter, try work in the name of Jesus. If you're looking for husband, may God give you husband. And if you're looking for husband, may God give you husband. Father, those I mentioned, I did not mention, but I'm glad they are requests. Your are some people now that request your problem is at home. Problem at home. May God solve that problem in the name of Jesus. Amen. Not their problem at home, may God solve it for you. Amen. Solve their problems at home. Don't they have at home that makes them to think. Solve it, surprise them. Make a way, there is no way. You are the Lord that makes it a way, then make a way. Tia, 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 tia. They will come and tell me it's over, the problem is the problem is solved, brother, the problem is solved. God is going to give them connection and give you connection. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you this week, oh God. They don't favor anywhere that go in favor. Office that go in favor. Any child respect in favor in the name of Jesus. I come out of you with the blood of Jesus. Your children with the blood of Jesus. Those of us not here with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.